Hello there YouTube, this is I am Hexo, and I'm sorry that I've been gone from my YouTube channel for about a year now. Uh, I've been real busy with school and all stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I am back now with a video tutorial on how to set up open broadcaster software with my best settings for Twitch.tv that I use almost every day. So here we go. Uh, you're going to go to the link in the description um, and download OBS and install it um, this is what the program looks like you're going to go to settings um, and also the music you hear in the background is a lapse in time by approaching nirvana and the link will be in the description so in general tab you have language uh, you can change that if you want to uh, the encoding tab we have all this stuff right here you're going to click this uh, use cbr and now we're going to get into an interesting part, which is the max bitrate. Um, you should do a speed test right now. The link for speed test will be in the description. So you will not look at the download speed. You will only look at the upload speed. So the upload speed is for me 17 megabits per second, uh, which would which you take 80% of, which would mean for me that I would take that I would have 14k, like something like that. Um, which if i would stream with this bitrate people will lag a lot but the stream will lag a lot for everyone because i'm putting i'm uploading s at such a high bitrate that there everyone will need to ha to download a lot of uh, images basically so this does not work the the like um normal the minimum amount of bitrate you will need for 1080p HD streaming is 3500 um, megabit per second or kilobit per second um, you can change this if you have higher if you have lower let's say you have 2 megabit per second uh, upload speed just put 1700 the stream will look worse but I think it will work so for me this is good if there's any questions about anything in this video please put them in the uh, description or in the not in the description sorry in the comment section and i will read them all and i will reply to reply to them all so um, what you're going to do now is going to go to audio encoding click aac 40 48 kilohertz the bitrate depends on your internet speed uh, if you have a uh, pretty slow internet just put 96 if you've medium internet speed put 112 so medium is like five megabit per second or something like that and if you have high just put 128 the difference between these does not really make a difference but yeah it's like a luxury thing just save them settings so what we're going to do is live stream we are not recording anything we're streaming to twitch.tv uh, the server you need to choose is the server that is closest to you, so the server closest to me is Amsterdam in uh, the Netherlands. Um, the, now it will ask you for a play path or a stream key. How you're going to get the stream key is you're going to go to the link in my description and that will bring you to this page right here on twitch.tv. You'll probably have to log in if you're or if you are already logged in, you can just click on show key. It will show you a key right here and uh, you just copy that key and paste it right there now the rest of all these settings you don't touch let's go to video um, you are going to uh, if you want a custom uh, size let's say your computer is not that good you can put in for example um, 1280 by 720 which will give you a 720p stream uh, which takes less to process for your pc and look good but uh, yeah, I don't really mess with that. And if you don't want to mess with that, just click on monitor and select the monitor you're going to be scream streaming from. Um, now we're done there. We're going to go to audio. You're going to select your uh, speakers or your headphones. And you're going to select your uh, uh, microphone. Now you don't really touch anything like in here. If you want to have push to talk or any other under stuff, just... Uh, put it in there uh, but I don't really like to change anything there now we are going to go to the advanced tab if you have a quad core or dual core processor this should be already checked but if it's not please check that uh, now we are going to select normal here 
we're going to put in the number 400 there we're going to uh, click this button uh, now this really depends on how good your PC is I have an i7 and I like to have it on faster when you have it on faster the stream just looks better this is all for how the stream looks um, if you have a, a not that good PC just put it on very fast it will look good but a little bit more blocky than the faster uh, if you have a beast PC just put it on fast uh, that's all I said I'm, I'm just saying for the people that have a decent PC put it on faster or very fast it doesn't really matter uh, the encoding profile put it on main uh, the key keyframe interval put it on two use CV CFR uh, this all stays the same uh, and then we're done with the settings so what you're going to do now is for people to be actually able to view your stream you're going to add a scene here and at the sources you're going to put a monitor capture um, now you're going to select the monitor you have because I have two monitors you can see one and two I use two for recording and um, for streaming uh, I use the uh, capture mon uh, the mouse cursor because I like that people could can see my screen uh, I mean my cursor sorry I just click on OK and if you would preview the stream now it's not black and uh, you can actually see everything now if you're a guy that wants or a girl that wants um, a webcam on your stream just click uh, right click there again add and a video capture device just click on OK and uh, at device selection it will probably automatically select your webcam uh, down here you can select the uh, opacity so if you want to it to be a little bit see-through you put it to the left I think and if you want it uh, want to be it like solid just put it more to the right I just leave this where it is right now um, now we're going to preview the stream so when you if you would start streaming like that you would just see a black big black box now you click on edit scene now you can drag this box around and resize it so we're just going to resize it and put it in one of the corners and then click on edit scene again and now we're done now you can see the webcam and now you can see the stream so i hope this video um, works for all of you and uh, it is good if there's any questions please ask them to me um, you can i'll put the the stream my stream link in the description you can look at my stream and look how it looks and uh, maybe say hi uh, if you want to please subscribe and like this video and uh, yeah thank you all for watching i appreciate it a lot and uh, have a nice day goodbye